Good evening and welcome back once again. So we've got another match today. It's been a very quick turnaround since the last match where we won 3-0. Let's jump into the team lineups. I'm sure there's going to be some tired legs. And it's good to see Mudrick back in the action on an upward blue as well or green. Whatever colour that is, I can't quite tell. Made a few other changes as well. Posters come in goal. We've got Texher on the left. McDowell on the right in the wingback roles. Herrera, Mariba and Cousins are going to be playing in midfield. Mudrick, Carlos Perez and Ruben Castro up top. So we're getting to the thick of the season now, lots of competitions to play in. Obviously we're playing in the league, playing in the Copa del Rey and we're playing in the uh, Europa League. So we need to rotate the squad very frequently and then there's international matches that you don't see but your players come back from tired which is unfortunate. But good to see Mudrick back, haven't played with him in the team for a couple of games. And he's in the thick of action straight away. Oh, that's a poor pass though. Nice ball back to him though. Modric. Oh, it's the post. What a dream start that would have been. After just talking about him as well. And of course, Castro, the youngster, he's been phenomenal this season. Really has. Of course, Perez nearly through. Tackle by Omrajek. Oh, nice ball by Castro. That's a poor pass back, though, from Perez. Good save. Brought him out, and the pass didn't help the attacker there. Had to wait for it. Oh, just wide. Look at that shot. Well, I'm not going to look at it, actually. <laughs> um, let's play this out wide. Bit of space there. I'm playing a three of Herrera, Mariba and Cousins. Very talented bunch. from Takshara we just fired at uh, the opposition Maribe Castro well blocked Looked like he got fouled there, and the referee didn't give it. And the pass, pass went out of play because of it, so that's a bit of a strange decision. He got caught. And of course he gives that one. Well, of course he does. Can't keep the ball at the moment. Ooh, nearly catches them there. And we do. We actually do catch them there. Playing in Castro. Oh, what a finish. He is absolutely lethal.
by far our best finisher. I don't know what the stats say, whether he is technically the best finisher on this team, but he is. Lovely ball from Herrera, the captain today. Absolutely smashed in. Power and pace. Accuracy. Didn't even take a touch. Lovely ball from Herrera as well. Breaking the defence down, which we've struggled to do a little bit. Outside the first sort of five or ten minutes. Obviously, Mudrick had that chance and was unlucky to hit the post. That could have changed the game. Could have opened things up a lot more quickly. Castro, nice ball into Perez there. Castro again. Lovely save. Very good save. He's down low. Cousance. Mariba. Cousance again. I just overplayed it slightly. Nice tackle from McDowell. Bit of space for Perez. Oh, what a pass that was. And I said Castro was the best finisher. He wasn't there. And I actually think I should have taken a touch. I was a little bit surprised it made its way to him. I know I played the pass, but it was such a good ball. Wow. If that had have gone in, it would have probably be been pass of the season. There was that one earlier in the season. I can't remember. I think it was Cousins that played it with the outside of his foot. Um... That would have rivaled that. It's a poor pass. Hopeful pass, but very poor. Good tackle. Unlucky we didn't get it back there, actually. Oh, spotted Carlos Perez there, but it's half time, 1 0. Better the possession, better of the chances. There wasn't too many. There was that Mudrick chance where we hit the post. Castro got the goal. And then that one right towards the end where Castro did actually miss with that wonderful pass from uh, Perez. Or even... Oh. What was that? He slid in from about 10 yards away. <laughs> he slid in before I even played the... Well, before he even received the pass. Um, Castro, lovely ball through to Mudrick. Not much I could do there. I could have sort of tried to cut back in, but the defender would have got it. Right, let's try the old corner trick. That was shocking. How we didn't get that ball, I don't know. Good clearance. Spectacular clearance. Here's Mariba. Oh, nice ball through to Mudrick from Castro. Trying to find some space, just couldn't find it. Oh, what a save. What a goal that would have been from Mudrick. It's, it's such tight space there. Sharon out. Oh, Perez, you've got a score there. Poor header, very poor. It's great cross. Gonna make some substitutions now. 
So we're changing things up a little bit. We're going to bring on Arcas for Carlos Perez. And we're going to bring on the youngster Danny Garcia for Maribe. Just because he's um, starting to lose a bit of energy. And we've pushed Herrera a little bit further up. Yeah, and Arcas is going to play out wide on the right there. Just the, the two subs today. Um, quite a lot of people on the bench aren't fully fit. Or haven't got full energy anyway. So I don't think there's anyone we really want to bring off. Just for the sake of it. I do also suggest trying to make your three subs if you can. Um, so everyone gets more experience. That's what it's for really. And obviously to give your players a rest. But in Master League it's important you get that experience. But the odd game here or there. If you just do one or two subs it's fine. Good save. Very good save. And a nice ball out wide to Mudrig. It gets fouled there, I think. I don't know if the referee said play on or if he just didn't give it. He probably didn't give it. Oh, he's offside. I wasn't sure. Oof. Sort of a shoe was offside. It's only 1-0, remember. Schubert with a very, very good save to keep us uh, in front. Here's Modric now. Can he potentially make something from this? Oh, terrible challenge. I hope he's not injured. Oh, he looks injured. That's an awful challenge. Mudrick's injured, yeah. It's the last thing we need. Nice ball to take share it. Don't care, I'm getting revenge. Come on, get my drift back on. He's back. Of course, I missed him for. Oh. Honestly, these referees are absolutely shit. Of course, Mudrick's been off the pitch for a while now, so he's... It's only a few minutes, but we really need him. He's an informed player. Here he is. Share is free here. Nice ball. How did we not get on the end of that? Come on, Arcas. Good lad. He's not that quick, but he got there. Mudrig, Castro. God, it's like a pinball machine. And of course, they just play it out casually like that. I was going to say good tackle, but didn't get the ball. Cousins leading the attack. And again, that's a bad challenge, isn't it? But here's Mudrig. Oh, a terrible finish. Terrible finish from Mudrig there. It's got to be right in the corner, and that's where he normally puts it.
And there it is, 1-0. Struggle in the end. We should have done a lot better than that. But three points. Another three points. And as usual, we've got the better possession, better the shots on target, etc. Schubert made one very good save, so that was very key. But other than that, we dominated. Ruben Castro man a match without doubt. Cousin's only getting a 4.5. I don't think that's right. Mudrick looked dangerous, but just didn't have that killer final ball or shot. And unfortunately, we did get some news that Mudrick did suffer an injury in that game still after the match. He's going to be out for, I think, at least two matches. It says he's back at some time in December. Thank you very much for joining once again. Please watch the next video where we're away in Europe. That could cement us a spot in the next stages. Drop a comment down below, leave a like, and think about subscribing to the channel just to keep up to date. But I'll see you all next time. Cheers.